Hi guys, welcome back. For today, it will be the Puma D8 Nitro. Again, I acquired this shoe with my own credits. This is a race daily trainer shoe. <clears throat> Good for your marathon runs. Carbon plated daily trainer. US size 10. It weighs 267 grams or 9.4 ounce. It's really quite light for its size. Going to the specs, the upper is made up of mesh, dual layered, but still breathable. The laces is long, and there's a runner's hole. The tongue is gusseted. The heel collar is not, not really padded, kind of flimsy. Something you expect from a carbon plated shoe, because there's already a, a snapback feature. There's a foam here on the sides, but only on the middle part, not in the outer part. For night running, going to the midsole, there are three materials. The nitrogen infused foam, full length, thick, 10 millimeter drop. Inside the midsole is the the carbon plate, the, the Eno plate. On the back is the TPU plate for stability reasons. Going to the outsole, it's a Puma grip. Same in the, the Eternity Nitro. Going to durability, I'm guessing 400 kilometers. Going to the pros and cons. The cons would be, one, one would be the the heel slippage okay there are some uh, sometimes i feel the heel slippage uh, during my fit but not during my runs also some runners i see on uh, youtube they complain they have some they get uh, uh, wounded here on the heel collar their uh, tendon gets uh, gets injured gets bloodied but i never experienced mine on mine okay Maybe it's on the sock issue. Going to the pros, the upper is soft and breathable. The midsole is also soft and thick. You can really feel the, the carbon plate during your runs, especially when you're going around uh, for a minute pace. Also, the traction is superb, okay? I like this. It really pushes you. really sturdy going to the fit this is wide foot friendly and doesn't need a breaking period it's good to go I wore thick socks on this shoe who are these shoes competitors it would be the Nike 10 to next percent the Adidas Boston 10 Sokeni Endorphin Speed 2 so do I recommend this shoe? Yes, definitely. A cheap carbon plated race trainer. It's, it's very good. I got it for 50% off online. You will like this very much. No pains on my, on my uh, knees and feet. The only problem would be the, the heel slippage, okay? Hopefully on the DB82, they would fix that. So that's it guys. Again, please subscribe. Click the like button below. And I'll see you again. Thank you.